welcome back, everybody. We are talking about choosing accessories while video conferencing on your favorite new line device. I just happen to be working on our new line flex today. But of course, the process is going to be the same if you're working on our Q series or Z series or your favorite new line product that you may have in your conference room office or on campus already. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to work in Zoom and I'm just going to go ahead and start my meeting. Uh, so you would do this just how you normally do. I'm actually working from a connected computer on my Flex. So I'm hardwired to the Flex, meaning I can go ahead and I could start with my touch or I could go ahead and just start from my actual computer itself. You can see I am joining again, just how you would always expect it to work. I'm going to join with the audio on my computer. Options. Always know that you do have options. So I do get a couple of questions when it comes to speakers and microphones. So you can see where it says unmute. I just expanded my options there. So I do have my default speaker as my new line flex because it has amazing sound, which is wonderful, along with the rest of our panels. And then of course you can always choose your default microphone. And next is going to be our default video. So I'm just actually gonna turn on my camera and you're gonna see I'm actually doing the camera that is from my laptop. I'm not actually using the flex camera yet. To change this same process, I'm gonna go ahead and just choose my expansion button. And you can see I have the option to select any of the cameras that are currently connected between the systems. So I will go ahead and I'm just gonna switch over to my new line flex. And now you can see I am right in front of uh, the panel there. And so I'm using my connected cam. So of course, if anybody's running uh, the mod cam or the Mod ModCam Plus on the Z series or on our Q series, uh, you may want to go ahead and switch between different cameras and microphone setups. Or if you have any USB connected camera that would show up as well. One pro tip for our Flex, however, and you can actually see the graphic uh, in the studio here down on the bottom right, because down on the bottom right of your flex, you do have the option to turn your mic and camera off. So I'm gonna go ahead and just hit that camera button. And you'll see in that picture um, that mic and the camera are red. When it is red, it means your camera is off. If it is not illuminated showing the line through it, then your camera is on and you will be able to use your cameras for video conferencing. So hopefully that was helpful. Keep the questions coming. We are here to support you in any way possible.